What's up, world? It's your boy, Carl Skateboarding and Porter. And uh, I'm back, motherfucker. Um, pretty much, I just want to talk about a couple things that I always do. First and foremost, let's get this Voxer shit out the way. Let me just touch this topic before anybody else do. Shit's dumb, okay? But I'm addicted to it already, okay? Because I just like being like, hey, you sexy as fuck, over, and then like act like it's a walkie-talkie, whatever the fuck it is. It's basically a voicemail. That's what it is. It's, 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 let's call it what it is. It's voicemail, okay, that you're responding to, whatever. If I don't get it, just call the motherfucker up if you want to talk to the person. Like, that's the kind of sense. Like, oh, I'm going to vox you later. Come on, shut the fuck up. Like, get off of that bullshit. Call the person up. Text them, whatever. Just get rid of Voxer because the shit is stupid. Um, Ugly people. God damn it, ugly motherfuckers. Please stop hollering at these pretty people like me. You know, I am a pretty handsome guy. And I'm getting tired of these uglies jumping out of no motherfucking where. Not knowing they fucking place. This for guys and for girls. You got an ugly motherfucker that's just riding your coattails through Facebook, Twitter, whatever, via whatever. Ignore the fuck out of them. Block they shit. Tell them in their face, you ugly. You are a part of the problem. I want to recall your face. I want to occupy your jawline from here to there because that shit needs to be redone. Like, be honest with a motherfucker. Whatever happened to honesty? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers too lenient, too soft now. Motherfuckers worried about everybody else's feelings. Oh, how this person gonna feel about me if I said this to them? Motherfucker, they'll feel better knowing that you kept that shit real. Um, first and foremost, I had a person, you know, just hit me up, rate me. R excuse me, rate you? You at the balls to ask me to rate you? Okay, I gave her a one point one. She asked me to rate. That's what I fucking thought. I gave her a one flat, but a one for effort for asking me to rate her ass. Because she knew she was ugly. Fuck out of my face, man. But anyway, that's beyond the point. Like I said, I'm honest. I'm a real honest guy. I'm so honest that even when it comes to love, I know what's going to happen. I'm honest. I feel like a lot of people set themselves up for heartbreak. Because they're not honest with each other. Or with themselves, rather. You know, I wrote a stat recently talking about, you know, it's hard to get somebody's heart, but it's even easier to break it. You know what I'm saying? That's the real shit. That came from my little brother, actually. So, and I didn't give him no credit. I never give him nobody who helped me out with stats credit at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Sure the fuck don't. I'm stingy. But real talk, the shit was so real, I had to think about it. Why is it so easy to break somebody's heart, but it's hard as fuck just to get it? I mean, you spend so much time trying to work for that person to get to know them, to trust them, and then they can just do one thing, and then you just you forget all that shit, and then you just end it. Like, if it was real love or something, like, wouldn't you fight the same as you was in the beginning, even in the end? Like, I don't get it. So many people say, I love you to that person or whoever the fuck they with, but then when they break up, then, like, where the love go? Like... You just don't love me no more? Like, what the fuck is up with that? It wasn't really love then. Like, you were a liar. Like, point blank, a period. You're just a fucking liar. But um, I, I just don't know, man. Like I said, us as this generation, we're so fucking iffy on how everything has to go. Everything has to be public. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad. Like, we don't have no privacy with, you know, each other anymore. Like, it's not up on a real sacred level. Um. All I do know is my neck hurt like a motherfucker, and I'm pretty much tired of talking to you. Um, if y'all like the video, like it. You know, don't just comment. Like my shit. You know, I want y'all to check out all my other videos I made, man. I'm pretty funny. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty calm. Pretty dope. Diller. So, pretty much, man. Y'all already know what this is by now. This is Carl, skateboarding and porter. You know, the adventures of Carl. I done told y'all to add me on Twitter, like, so many fucking times. And I don't think y'all listening. So, I don't even want y'all to follow me no more, fucking weirdos. Because y'all don't listen. Y'all little ass ears. Y'all can't hear me or something.
Don't blame it on my video quality either, punks. Like I said, box me? Nah, because I'm about to get ready to get rid of that shit. So I don't want y'all doing that. MySpace me? Not just like, MySpace dead like a motherfucker. Time the only nigga on there still. But for real. Just do what y'all got to do, man. Avoid uglies. Take love when it comes. And pretty much put 10 toes down to the ground. Live every day like it should last, man. Like I said, I'm Carl Skateboarding Porter. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Later.